Hello sunshine, so today is the day of the candy table. So today is the day of the candy table and there's something... Life happens, right? But today I got a message from my customer, my client. I'm not going to share her name because I don't know if she wants me to share her name, but she messaged me um, about nine o'clock, nine o'clock ish, nine o'clock ish. She messaged me and she let me know if I can come and set up at 12. And we confirmed already that I was going to come and set up at one, which is only an hour difference, right? But she told me that the owner wasn't going to be at the venue to open the doors at one that he wasn't gonna come back till two and she asked me if I could please come in at 12 which is totally fine but when she messaged me I wasn't home I was actually at the store getting um, groceries and I was with my son and I was like in the middle of the store with my groceries in the basket I wasn't even finished yet shopping and I was just like, oh my God, like I need to hurry up and get home because not only that, I still had to load up the van. And I always have to, since I, I don't have an assistant, I don't have, it's just me, myself and I, right? And as some of you know or seen me, it's just been me and my kids that have done the candy tables. It's just, it's always been me. So today I'm actually solo, I don't even have, Kimberly with me to help me she's at um, a school field trip so I'm legit literally by myself so I was like oh my god I have to load the van by myself and just to double check triple check quadruple check that I have everything it ready to go because you know I'm gonna I have to like hurry up and get there by 12 and so here we are you guys we're on our way we're on time right now it is 11 22 and i'm not nervous i'm not i don't feel rushed anymore because i know i got everything in the van and i'm hoping i have everything but you guys i think i have this so under control <laughs> right um so you guys i'm glad i did my makeup this morning or else i would look like like i just woke up but i always like to get when I wake up, I always like to get ready. That's like my routine. My coffee and get ready. So you guys, I'm super excited. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. We're gonna go do a candy table. And the, oh, I didn't even tell you guys what kind of candy table we're doing. So today's theme, it is a quinceanera. I don't know if I mentioned that previously, but today's theme is a quinceanera. Um, it's pink, light, I'm, I'm sorry. It's light pink with silver. And I just know that Quinceanera's name starts with a K. I don't know her name, so we're gonna find out when we get there. And I'm super excited to meet my customer. I haven't, I don't, 90, 95% of the time, you guys, I never see my customers in person when they're booking. That It's always like through a message or a phone call. So sometimes I don't even meet my customer, even when I arrive. I do the setup, I send them a picture, you know, they like it, they let me know. But you guys, it's like, it's crazy like being in the business and you don't actually meet your clients. Um, so, I'm hoping she's there, I'm pretty sure she's going to be there. Because, I don't know, I'm just hoping she's going to be there because I would like to know. You know, I'm always like, oh my god, do they like it? Are they going to like it? Or is there something wrong? But, I mean, I I only have had maybe just one customer that told me they didn't like it. And I'm going to tell you guys why. So, the reason why I had this customer, like, she legit messaged me after I left and told me she didn't like it is because it was summer. And I remember David was with me because I felt so bad. I was, like, so bummed out. But it was summer. And the chocolate was melting like off the treats and chocolate and heat did not mix and I did mention to her prior when we met when we had the sit down and we went over the treats and stuff 
Um, I did let her know like it's summer, it's hot, and most likely, you know, this chocolate is going to melt. And she was like, oh yeah, yeah. But in the message, she said, my mom doesn't like it. So it wasn't literally her, it was her mom. So she messaged me saying, my mom doesn't like it because everything is melting. And I messaged her, and I did let her know like, yeah, it's summer, and it's super hot outside, and of course, um, I didn't say of course, but I told her yes, the chocolate will be melting because it's hot. It was, I just remember it was super, 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 super hot that day. I will never forget that day because, like I said, like, I was so bummed out. I was like, I, I put myself down because I was like, shit, like, I fucked up. Like, I messed up big time. But, David told me, like, no, mom. Like, I'm glad David was with me. Pobrecito, you know? He was, he was young. But he made me feel better, like, no, mom, it's summer, it's hot, it's super hot outside, and yeah, the chocolate was melting. Because literally when we were moving, removing the treats from the tray onto the, onto the cake stands, like, just touching them to transfer them, they were already melting. Like, you could obviously tell everything was melting. So, I, I, that was, like, the only time that I had someone tell me that they didn't like it. But it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't my customer, it was the mom. Yes, I know I'm filming and driving, but I'm not holding the camera. I have the camera on the on the tripod, so yeah, you guys. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. So I just arrived at the venue, and I never been in this venue before to do a setup. And you guys, literally, I did, what I did not have a chance or mention as well is I grew up in this neighborhood. And <laughs> when I was driving, I was like, oh, I didn't even put the address on the GPS. And I'm like, I don't need a GPS because I, I know exactly how to get here. So I did grow up in this neighborhood. And my mother actually still lives in my childhood home. So she's only a couple of blocks away from here, which is cute and funny <laughs> um but i just thought that oh my god like we done so we have worked in so many venues um already sometimes we've been there twice three times um in the same venue for different events different customers so this is actually our first time here ah we it's only me <laughs> this is actually my first time here doing a candy table setup so oh my god it's like it it feels it feels legit like it's real like oh my god we have almost done so many i am so blessed that i have had the opportunity to, to do so many candy tables and setups and i had customers and i'm truly grateful and thank you to every single one of my clients that have booked with us because there is so many vendors out there so many candy tables so many everything and for them to pick and choose us is truly a blessing and i really appreciate it and thanks to them that we keep going and we stay strong i stay strong and i keep motivating myself and it's not easy you guys let me tell you being in the business for 10 years it's not easy sometimes there is a downfall um but you know i just keep thriving and keep pu pushing forward and i'm just waiting now for um i'm waiting for my customer i let her know that i was here she told me to be here at 12 um she's probably on her way as well i don't know or waiting on the owner i don't know the doors are closed so i'm just waiting here in my car with the ac seeing who shows up told me at, at two o'clock um they told the customer told me at 12. no he's wrong um she's i told him that i'm here from a nine o'clock nine uh seven, eight o'clock in the morning they were here and they were gonna come and, and then uh i'll leave it at 11 30 or 12 and i come back at two she says he talked to you and the dj to come in at two okay okay let me call my customer that's all right so now it is officially two hours later i am here at the venue it is literally two o'clock like literally on the dot i don't see the owner i don't see any family members i don't see everything is still closed i don't know what is going on um there was a miscommunication with time of arrival and the father of the quinceanera told me when I came, when I showed up at 12. So he told me that um, 
you know, he's sorry that I was supposed to show up at 2, not at 12. And um, the owner, so they were setting up in the morning at 8. So I guess the setup was at between 8 and 12. And then the owner told them, he, the owner literally, I'm sorry, the owner literally told them that the setup was only between 8 and 12. And the father was like, the father of the quinceañera was like, well, I didn't know that you didn't tell me that. And the owner said, well, I'm telling you now. So they said, well, how you have to open the doors later because we have to bring in the DJ and bring in the cake. And then I was going to come in. So the owner told them like, okay, I'll come back at two. And then you guys can finish setting up. I believe the, quince the event starts at, she, she said at four, at four, I believe. So I'm here at 2. I went and got gas. I went and got something to eat. I went home. I wasn't going to stick around for 2 hours. Um, and then I had to go get something. So we are here. Nobody's here. I don't know how this is going to be. I don't know what the intentions of the owner. But there was some miscommunication. Um, so stuff like this. Like I highly suggest you get everything in writing when you book an event like this. Um, especially with timing. Um, so that was my suggestion, you guys. This is the first time that this has ever happened to me. I have always shown up, showed up the time that my customer tells me, but I guess the owner, I don't know, the owner just decided to say, hey, I'll just be back later and I'll see you guys later. It sucks, but it is what it is now. Um... I don't see anyone. So I am already inside and I'm going to go ahead and start setting up. I already put up my ring light. It is kind of dark in here if you can tell by the background. But you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I'm going to show you guys everything behind the scenes.
So you guys, today is the very next day. Everything went well with the candy table yesterday. Right now, we are on our way to my dad's, but we had to make a quick stop at the supermarket. I want to show you guys really quick these baskets. So they literally made these like small. Oh my God, this is super, super small. I would not be able to do grocery shopping in this basket. Wait at least. Oh. 